Hmm, I'm in a bind. And what a bind it is. <laughs> I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. No, 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 too late. I already did this. Alright, the one who killed Mahiru Koizumi is... Okay, think about this, Monokuma. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, don't play with my heart like that, man. I can't take it. Hey! Right. Peko is the actual killer. She is the one that dealt the killing blow. But the rules of an assassin are they are hired by somebody. The person who hires the assassin is more guilty of being a killer than the actual killer. Hey, hey. Oh, crap. <laughs> if they're actually going the assassin route. Well. Oh, man. Hopefully it goes in our favor. You just don't know. Hopefully I didn't, like, spoil anything. I have to be right. That's the only reason she would call herself a tool to young master. Oh. Well, we're getting plenty of new details here. Aww. No. Well, what was it? Spit it out! You were taken in by the Kuzuryus. I am nothing but a tool. You are Fuyuhiko's servant. What? Hmm. Ah, oh, crap! I was right! Damn it! She is an assassin, a hitman! If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. That is... Oh, wow. Oh, no. Nothing. Ouch! Huh? <laughs> oh, this is kind of heartbreaking. Fuyuhiko told you to just act like a human being? Wow! Oh, he gave you direct orders just to act natural. You fiend. Mm. No. So no matter what, he always wants you to play it straight-faced. I am nothing but a tool. You are his blade.
Fuihiko tried to deal the killing blow. Which means you stepped in and killed her in his stead. Damn it. It is what it is. Bullshit. Damn it. Don't fuck with me. You wanted to see if other people had remembered that event. So. You wanted answers, and from the looks of it, you didn't get the answer you wanted. Well, I mean, that's kind of natural. You sent her pictures of a dead girl. But. That's right, nobody knew anything. I mean, until you played that game, you wouldn't have even have known that people were associated with it. Memories wiped clean. It's not like we don't know it on purpose. Well, yeah, who would want to be connected with a bad event like that? Oh my my! Breaks my heart right there. Oh. <laughs> no, don't blame yourself. But. Yeah, the only person to show up. Hyoko coming later. didn't know if it was true or not. You were going based on evidence and a hunch. And so... It's pretty damn good evidence, though. to make it match with the game. Hey! <gasps> oh! 
Forgot about this. Why, you... But... Why? Shut the hell up! What are you saying? Fuyuhiko, you know this technically means you already got revenge for your sister's death. You killed girl E in the past. You didn't have to kill Mahiru. Young master, I am finished. What? Step down, Monokuma. You'll get your chance. Yes, indeed! Pretty ingenious plan, now that I think about it. Mm. Yeah, we fell for it. Now it's all based on Monokuma on whether we all survive or... or none of us survive. Obviously wrong. Yeah, Monokuma, you want to end this game early or you want to keep it going? No. Uh, how merciful are you feeling today? This is troubling. Yeah? If we look at technicalities, she did the killing. That was all her. Exactly. Fuyuhiko would be the true killer because he he used his hitman to kill somebody. He used his hired killer. <laughs> oh, this is difficult. I see. He would be the only one left if we went with that technicality. Great! Wrong. <laughs> now then! Oh, this should be interesting. Huh? 
Hey. This should be really interesting. Is he actually willing to throw away the rest of us and his hitman just to live? What? Oh, Nagito, you are poking and prodding in all the right places. Jeez. Are you doing this because he asked you to, or do you actually care? Please tell us the truth. We need this. How's this going to work for you, Hiko? It's up to you. Oh, that hurts. Oh, Nagito, that was a dagger in his gut. Hey. That he had to say it that way. Either way, you'll lose Pecco. That's gotta hurt. Damn it! Young master, I am finished. You... you... What the hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen? After you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Hey, Pekka, do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am... my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner, the tool serves no purpose. God damn it, we are done with that crap! 
Why won't you listen to what I'm saying? Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. Then... why did you... I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! I'm a disgrace. Echo. Young master! Oh! Too bad! Hey, he's just showing his softer side. So what you're saying is... Hey. Jeez. Succeeded too. <laughs> so, no matter what, he would have chosen Pekka as the killer. Sorry. <laughs> what? Even so, I wanted you to escape. Echo. I am terribly sorry. And please, do not cause a senseless killing such as this, ever again. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
I will never feel despair. So cool! Pecco. Young master for you, Hiko. So... I want you to remember. Tell you something, Paco. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. Hold on, Monokuma, this is getting good. I I never needed a tool. So you didn't need to become a tool. You just... You just needed to be yourself. I... I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Young master? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! Let's go! It's punishment time! Please, Pecco. Don't go. I need you. Don't leave me. Young master? Young master? Be right? He wasn't the blackened! <laughs> That's not fair! That's a two for one deal! Overrun Pekka with a bunch of sword wielding robots! Is 
such a waste. One of them just got caught in the crossfire trying to save somebody he loved! Such despair. This turned into such a melodrama and I like it! Why did they both have to go? Isn't that right? What?! <laughs> Stop talking! Of who, you might ask? Hmm. You do look familiar, dude. I mean, from another universe. Listen carefully. What? No way! He took a sword slash straight to the face! What? Did he really survive that? Everyone! No way! You serious? That was a kill shot! <laughs> I mean, if he's still alive, awesome! You alright? I mean, I know you're not, but... He, he, he's still... He, he's still breathing! He, is he gonna be okay? Do something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! I, I'm trying! But his blood... He won't stop bleeding out! His pulse is getting weaker! Can't you... Can't you do anything about it? God damn it! Hmm. You're so stupid! You stupid brother! That's right! You owe him! He got caught in the crossfire! That's not supposed to happen! That goes against your rules! That's the only loophole I can find in this! You have to save him now! What the heck? I don't know... Are you up for breaking your own rules? That's wrong! Huh? Hey, hey! Thank you! I was hoping that would work, I was just spitballing. They alone will be executed. Which means Fuyuhiko can't die. Or he's not allowed to. <laughs> yeah, we we're kind of on a time crunch here. You gotta save him now. Yes! Fine, fine! That's right, you can't violate a rule. You can only tweak them. So... Thank you. I didn't really want to see two deaths today. Like... Didn't even want to see one. Hmm? How 
did you prepare for that? Did you know that would happen? Leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. Dr. Killgood, you've already killed your patients. We've got to get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24 hour observation stat. So, I'll see you later. I mean, I personally wouldn't leave a dying man to Monokuma. Damn it. Yeah, that is the only way. Monokuma probably could get him to a part of the island that can fix him up. Perhaps. I don't like the sound of that probably. <laughs> You know what? I hope so. I don't really want to lose another person. Mm. Yeah, we gotta play the waiting game on this one. <laughs> oh, trust me. I don't want to wait for him. But if it means saving a person... Pekko's the one that did the actual killing. She landed the final blow. Fall, my tears. Believe it or not, you kind of want to have Fuyuhiko around. He's an asshole, don't get me wrong. But it takes all kinds. I know this game well. Four people are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Whether it's better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. For those kids, which option is hope and which is despair? But I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero, that guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. 
What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair. And the continuation of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Th that cannot be allowed. We must prevent that by any means necessary. Even if we have to pay the ultimate price, I will definitely prevent it by any means. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Dang, 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 dang. 